everybody, this is Sarah here. Yeah, I hope everybody have a good summer. And I came back from holiday after a long, long holiday. And I haven't been doing much lately. But I'm glad that I have finished this a new mini album. I just want to show, show you how it came out. And I'm really pleased with it. And I hope everybody will like it as well as I like it and it's actually made from envelope it's called envelope pocket mini album and I followed the marine smith from one piece of craft.com and I'll put the link below so it's actually a, a very a small and compact mini album and I, I have embellished quite a uh, the page, the front page, quite a lot with uh, the flowers. Uh, here's the, all the mulberry paper flowers, and this is the, the I scrunched the paper, and this is a handmade by me. It's just a, uh, I die cut it myself, and then I just crunch it, and then spray water, and just make it uh, all hard, and then just uh, stick another small mulberry paper on top of it and this is my hand crochet butterfly it's very cute isn't it <laughs> and then this is a hand mix stick pin and there's a photo frame here where I can put my photo and here will be the uh, pearl trim that I have and the rosette trim and this is the mass butterfly from Annie Miss Garden Grove 1 Hi Annie, thank you Annie for your wonderful butterfly and, and also I've done a, made a small little charm, a simple one. So I put a ribbon here and then this is a, a resin a rose that I have in my stash and the two little uh, birds and this is an embellish with all the bennies laces that I have and I put some pearls here and okay so we just and here I use the the fastening is actually this is the baby baby hair band that I cut off it, 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 I got another one something like that just like that and then I just cut it off and then because it's quite elastic here and I put a, a giant rose uh, resin here as a as a like a button and then this one I use the press start just a big press start that you have in your sewing box just uh, to for the closure and so the the first page uh, look uh, I also a uh, I forgot to say I put a lot of laces here and uh, a lot of a uh, small ribbon and laces and here to cover the, I bind this together using the pink ribbon. So I just try to cover it up all so that you can't really see the pink ribbon. I just cover it up with a lot of ribbon and laces. Actually I have I made this mini album using a lot of scraps from my stash. A lot of uh, small papers that I, I have a lot in my scrap but I I just don't know what to do with them. There's just so many of them. So the first page it looks like this is a smile and then uh, the trim here, the pearl flatback trim and the nice ribbon, nice lace that I have had in my stash for quite a while. And I put I also decorate it here with uh, some lace here. And then there's the two tags here that you can pull out. Yeah. Just a tiny tag. And then um, there's also a, you call the, uh, another photo mat that I, I just uh, stamped some butterfly. And then it just looks like that. Just a very simple tag. And then here I also embellish with uh, some a ribbon flowers that I have and the flower and the uh, butterflies, more butterflies 
And here also, this is actually like a, a pocket here. It's like an envelope that I. It's actually a long uh, envelope, and then I, I cut it into two. And then, so every page will have a, a, a pocket for the own text. So here I. I uh, stamp another butterfly image and then emboss it. Uh, I think it's a brown, brown uh, ink pad. And then I make some uh, flowers uh, uh, bling here. Uh, I, I actually handmade it by myself. I stick it one by one. It's actually quite difficult. <laughs> so it doesn't turn out really good. Oh, some came out. Sorry, and then so this is just a a a, a, a clip using the crochet flowers, and then the butterfly, and then the back is just another stem uh, butterfly image. So you can actually clip clip that like that, and here is just another pocket for photo mat or journaling. So uh. So also the, the first page is also the same, I forgot to show you. Just like simple uh, photo mat, you can just, uh, sorry, uh, just put a photo or journaling. So in each pocket here, I have a, a tag for each pocket. So I make a, a also a, a put some laces here. And then gathered laces, and then uh, this is the pearl trim, the flower small flower trim that I had in my stash. And so the next page is this one, the red squidler, and also the a lot of uh, flat back pearls that I've used here. And then here is the oh sorry, here is a small uh, mulberry paper flowers that I use and then some blinks here and then uh, some uh, vintage leaves that I've used as well around here. I just want to uh, decorate with a lot of embellishments and also here there are two tags here also embellished with laces and here is the, uh, I just um, put some uh, I think Prima flowers that I had in my stash so these are all the tiny ones and I think it, it looks cute with them. So it's just a simple tag, tiny tag that I have. And then this one is actually a rosette trim that I have. Rosette trim that I, uh, it's just an individual small trim that I had. I cut it one by one and then just uh, adhere them all together as one big one. And then put some poles here and then some poles here and then uh, some uh, dolly dollies that I have and then flat back pose and lace and then here is another uh, simple like a booklet and uh, just a simple one with some uh, butterfly stem again and then uh, this is just a, a, a plain uh, paper that I, I made uh, just to write some journaling and I just uh, use a mata steward punch so this very simple one that I've used, and here uh, another decorated uh, flower pole that I've used and flat back poles. So I really like to use this um, and poles, and so and and this is another pocket. Uh, sorry, another tag that I have used again uh, uh, for this uh, pocket, and also uh, prima. Some uh, prima uh, flowers, paper flowers. Okay, and then uh, very quickly, the another page is uh, the next page is uh, happiness, and this one is another scrunch flower that I've used using the the uh, paper that I scrunch and then uh, spray with water to make it hard, and then another uh, small mulberry paper flowers on top of it, and then another uh, tag small tags with prima flowers, just a simple one and then so this are uh, happiness so just a tiny tiny tag and then I embellish this with another uh, lace and then 
like that pose and then I decorated uh, the butterflies with some pose as well okay and then this one will be the next page will be uh, some Venice lace that I've used this is very pretty one that I've got in my stash but I don't have a lot left and then some flat back pose and then I decorate here with some lace lace here and then this is a uh, available tea, uh, flowers that I have in my stash um, and then I've, I've made another pocket here another simple pocket with a uh, some laces you can write some journaling or photo mat and then another another uh, tag that I, oh, I have embossed uh, some roses here flowers here and then another uh, velvet flowers and then prima flowers here and then mulberry paper flowers again a tiny one okay just very simple and for each uh, pocket and then the last page is our uh, best wishes so uh, this one is another math butterfly from Annie Miss Garden Grove one thank you Annie thank you again and then um, some laces here and then I've decorated here with uh, prima flowers mulberry paper flowers again and then this is hydrangea paper flowers that I had in my stash and then another a tiny tag, just a simple one. I just punch uh, some flowers and then uh, embellish it here together, and then uh, uh, put a flat back, uh, uh, what do you call rhinestone here. And then uh, the last page is uh, you just make a photo frame here, just a tiny one where I can slot in some photo, and then make a rose from lace some uh, uh, leftover uh, lace that I had and then put a pole here tiny pose and then black back pose again and some laces here and then another uh, another pair that I can put photo here and some journaling at the back okay so this is also another butterfly with some uh, pose, like that pose, and then another, another tag that I had, and then this is also, uh, I don't know where I got this flowers from, maybe the collection flowers, I, I'm not sure, but yeah, they are all in my stash, so these are all made from, uh, this album is made from the leftover papers, here, uh, all the tiny, tiny papers that I had, so if you if you want to uh, make use of your tiny uh, uh, leftovers that you had in your stash, this is a very good idea. It's very um, you can make this uh, beautiful tiny mini album and very compact. Uh, I've actually uh, like how it came out and it's just uh, very cute and girly. So the bag just very simple, just some lace, some flyback pole again, and then that's it. So, so that is uh, my new project. I hope everybody likes it, and uh, uh, thank you for watching my videos. And I will appreciate that you will leave some comments for me, so that I can improve in my work. So, thank you everyone, and have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you.